Adriatic cruise from Slovenia down the Dalmatian coast of Croatia through the Adriatic Sea. An incredible journey that I did a few years ago from um, departing Ljubljana, the capital, and then picking up our boat at Puerto Roz in uh, the north of Slo uh, Slovenia on the Adriatic. We motored out of Puerto Roz and started sailing down the coast towards the Dalmatian coast of Croatia, which is a much larger coastline than the tiny Slovenia. Our boat was uh, an Elan 50, beautiful cruising boat. And um, I was on a delivery with uh, performance boats in Sydney with Matt, who was, um, he was the dealer. And we were delivering it down the coast to its charter base. So first of all, we had to call in in um, Croatia, in Croatian customs. And um, our first port of call was Umag. That's the custom entry point. And our, um, the company representative was Matisse from the uh, charger company. You can see this beautiful Alan 50, uh, the, the impression model, roomy, and full cabins, and ideal for cruising the uh, the Atlantic, uh, the, the, or the Adriatic where we are here at the moment. But it's a good offshore boat as well, should you want to. Um, Interesting Croatia, it's, it's a very well-to-do place, part of the old Yugoslavia. It's quite a well-off country. Thousands and thousands of charter boats operate along these uh, coastlines, so the towns are, are well-to-do. And um, really interesting to, uh, to explore. There's about 12 or 1,300 islands along this coast. So apart from the... Uh, the towns, um, which have got good restaurants, you know, Western standard restaurants. And the Croats themselves are very friendly people. Um, over here I'm walking out to the... Um, Pretty place, huh? Looking, uh, looking yeah. south along the Adriatic. Marshal Tito was the famous dictator who ran this country until the breakup of Yugoslavia. And um, hey, this is just a nice I guess aboard this trip. And we sailed along part of this huge coastline, which is about 6,000 kilometres of coastline and islands together. The weather is very mild generally, and this was done in the spring before a lot of the, 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 the boats came out, a lot of the cruise boats. So it's a good time, you know, May is a good time. And then um, our delivery took about a week. And um, the navigation is very easy. It's um, there's very little tides, and this the wind, which can get strong from the south, the Sirocco wind, didn't really um, didn't really uh, affect us. It was quite calm for most of it. Um, very few off-line rocks and quite deep water. So really, a, a great place to go sailing. Um, and lots of charter opportunities. So our, our next um, port of call, we're heading towards Rovina, which um, has got a historic cathedral. R -O -V -I -A -S. And you can see here we've got um, no wind as we're approaching the beautiful um, Ravina and the Saint Euphemie's 
cathedral, which reminded me of St. Mark's in, in Venice, which is just actually a couple of hours by boat over the other side of the Adriatic. It's, it's incredible to think you're actually just beside um, Venice here, really. Um, the uh, Bimini is very useful on the uh, Elan. It was strong sun, so the Bimini and Brehood is very useful. Picking up a mooring here um, for the night. Um, take it to the bow. And sit looking west with the sun setting over Italy and the toe of Italy. Here's some colourful Transylvaniac style girls I met. Interesting people ashore there, good food in Ravenna. We enjoyed some nice meals. And then um, headed off further down the coast. Lots of islands to hide behind. And, um, interesting historical sites to see as well. Crossing the Kivarno Gulf. This was our biggest crossing, it was a 20 mile crossing of the Gulf. And um, that's a, it's a, deep, it's a deep water port, Rijeka, um, in the mouth of this Gulf. footballing nation. Really good weather for, for spring, it's very stable weather. Now we've stopped at this beautiful island, um, Pramuda, Pramuda Island. Um, and we just picked up a, a village mooring here. It was 30 euros for the night. And um, beautiful sunset. Calm. Still a lot of daylight. Um, a villager came out. And uh, helped us and offered us a ride in. That's good. That's good. I'm not complaining. Oh, look at this, mate. There it is. There it is. Tonight's, dinner. Tonight's dinner. Beautiful. Bag balls. Beautiful big cockpit on the. Um, the Elan 50. Water cooled about 16 degrees when I jumped in in the morning. So um, it was. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't spend too long in there. David um, from Sydney uh, recorded me. clear water and clean, you know, there's no pollution here. Um, yeah, the shore is didn't seem like there's the any pollution anyway. Sea urchins. Yeah. Can you swim with the shore and back? Yes. So. Okay. Are you going to come for a wacky swim? Oh. Climb the mast to have a look. And, um, 
looking north and west down down the rig on Fairland 50. Ideal cruising boat for a family. A bit big for a couple of people of course. Beautiful. But, um, Creation coast. Magic moments. Memorable moments. Before we um, headed off to the next part of the coast and um, investigated some other islands. Now we're approaching Molat oh, Island you, uh, because we've heard it's got a very good bakery and um, it had a nice key for us to um, come alongside but it also has got a dark history of, of a concentration camp um, where a, about a thousand Croats died um, during uh, the Second World War in 1942-43 that's Maria the, the baker we, we heard about her bakery so we enjoyed her food and then beyond that we cruised further south, enjoying chilling out. Nice big swim platform on the Elan. Charting, Garmin charting, pretty easy to, to read. And then our next interesting place, which is Dugiotok Island and the Narrows that we had to uh, go through to get into the Telskika National Park and uh, lots of um, military here, a uh, hangover from Tito's days. Um, had a bit of fun around this area. I sat in the dinghy to photograph the um, Elan sailing past. So I just drifted around in the uh, rubber dinghy and looked at the islands. Here's one of the hidden submarine bases that um, Tito built he built lots of them and knew and no one knew anything about them none of the people in the west knew about them so um quite a quite a secret that uncovered after the uh, the end of the cold war got better wind as we got further south towards um split um the southern end of the drag is quite famous because of its wind around uh, northern greece and some stimulating sailing there's an Gulat, one of the commercial cargo boats that's also turned into tourist boats nowadays the famous Gulats. appropriate name for our boat we did indulge lots of good local wine here actually in Slovenia there's good local wine and uh, they like their beer their car I think it's Carlock beer and um, Another beautiful place, the day before we finished, we came into the sleepy island of Treve Drevnik, where we stayed and um, had our last night before sailing into Trogar, which is the, is the charter base, the destination base, just beside Split. Split, of course, is famous as the site for the Game of Thrones, big show and dramatic turreted castles and um, quite an amazing place.